The big issue with man-made lakes is that unless they're carefully managed over the long haul, they can get into a state where it's most undesirable to be living adjacent to a lake. When the warmer weather came, so December, the odour level started coming up. We had dead fish there occasionally, there's dead birds there as well, so it's suggesting that the environment wasn't exactly as it should be. There's a report prepared that we found on some 46 man-made lakes around Perth and it highlighted the sort of pros and cons and issues and so we started to try and get the lake depth back to where it should be at 1.5 metres. Today we're working in an urbanised environment so we have a few challenges to work through, namely that the properties are very close to the pond that needs to be desludged. This is a very nice area here. But because it's artificial, sediments will build up in the uh, lake area and that means that every now and again they'll need to be cleaned out and you know, the area revitalised. The important part of this project is to work carefully with the community and to ensure that we're not intrusive in any of the works that we do. We will remove that stuff out of here without interfering with the neighbourhood. Because this is an expensive area, a lot of lovely properties and we want to make sure that they have really a good aspect out of their houses. The local community made us aware that there were a number of moorhens and other nesting birds in these reeds and that we should be quite careful in the way that we approached it. They certainly briefed the ratepayers before uh, they started the work and so that was uh, very much appreciated. And yeah, so we were kept informed. You can see that there's very limited space to get this in, so there's an ideal piece of equipment to get into these sort of tight areas and work around and remove the sediment and pump this 200 metres which it will take to go up to the laydown area. Since the last recording, which is just over two weeks ago, we've filled three tubes and we're on to our fourth, and we've managed to get a lot of the black ooze out of the area around where the houses are. You can imagine all these tubes have got so much uh, black ooze inside them, and if there was just an open area not contained inside the tubes, uh, then the smell would be very strong and the neighbours who are just metres away from us would be complaining. There was no smell at all. I haven't smelt it at all, and nor has my husband and our couple of neighbours because they, I keep in touch with them and they said there was no odour at all and they couldn't believe how easy the process was. Obviously hard to Martin, but easy for us. We're going to leave compact sediment that can be cut open and then removed by a truck. This is the type of material that's going inside the tubes and uh, it really contrasts with what comes out. The dredging has gone really well. We've uh, achieved our requirements of deepening the basin. Um, Apex has been great with assisting us with liaising with the local residents and I think that's really helped get them on board. From my point of view the, the project's gone very well. The contractor has certainly done his communication thing and uh, you know, the event here this morning just by uh, taking the opportunity of sharing with ratepayers and uh, uh, having explained the process that's going on and uh, as it turns out that uh, they're ahead of schedule and from what I understand uh, they'll be out of the area sooner than uh, we previously expected.